What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at BotCon 2013 Autobot Electrons. Well, he is an homage to G2 uh, Electro. I don't know why they call him Electrons and why they couldn't get that, you know, as a copyright, they had to put Autobot in front of it. They do that when they can't get the name, like uh, Rewind or Eject, I think Eject, they couldn't get Eject on the new uh, Legends, Little Legends discs, data discs, so they had to call him Autobot Eject. So they, this guy is actually Autobot Electrons. So they couldn't get Electrons and they couldn't get Electron. I don't know, a little weird, but he's an homage to G2, G2 Electro. Um, who was a similar style truck. This is obviously a repaint of uh, Generations Cup. It was also been uh, repainted as GDO Swerve. But it's the exact same old. Even got the uh, the gun tailpipe. Um, the G2 the G2 uh, figure was you know a similar st uh, style of truck, but he was like that big. Um, unfortunately, the original the original figure. Uh, was made out, made out of gold plastic, so he does suffer from some pretty horrible GPS. Um, but he was gold and clear, and he also had these it's kind of uh, teal and pink details, which they faithfully faithfully replicated here. See the Autobot sim the uh, Autobot symbol, the G2 Autobot symbol there. But the uh, the original figure also had a, a light up gimmick, had an LED. You'd have a button, you could push the button, and uh, it would pipe through all the clear plastic on the figure, and he also came with a uh, really simple sword. It was a clear sword. It just like looked like that. It had just like a straight line and another straight line for the hilt, uh, and the light piping would go through the hand and light up the sword. Again, you know, there's not many of them left, and the only ones that are mint on card because the GPS just literally crumbled. So, so even if you find one mint on card, the battery is probably going to be dead. So there's really no way to play with that light up game anymore. But whatever, this is probably the best way to get a G2 Electro now. Because obviously, you know, with GPS, the thing literally just falls apart. But, as we see here, this this was the other figure that came with Sandstorm. Um, so, like, that that two-pack is probably the best two-pack. Or the best bag figure. I'll, you know, them and the, you know, the Rainmakers. It's up to you who you like more, but these guys are very cool. You can also see in the plastic itself it's actually got hopefully it comes off okay there's like a metallic glittery paint all throughout the plastic you can see it see it better up here which is pretty cool I'm pretty sure the original figure had that as well that's a nice little homage again there's the G2 Autobot logo uh, they did make the windshield the glass all clear which is cool again an homage but yeah, let's uh, let's get this guy transformed real quick. I've already done the transformation, so if you need to see the transformation, go back and look up my uh, GDO Swerve review. Uh, I show you the full transformation in that video. So let me get this guy transformed, and I'll be right back, and we'll show you who we'll show him off in robot mode. All right, so here we have uh, Electro or Electrons, whatever you want to call him, in his uh, in his robot mode. Uh, and right off the bat, you'll just see that he's you know really just. Very, very similar to Cup and Swerve. Um, the one thing you will notice is he does have a new head sculpt. Um, this is the um, the box set's hoist head. It's just painted all silver and blue. Very cool. It is a totally new head sculpt, which is cool. Dig that. Uh, he does have more detailing of the, uh, the teal and the pink on his chest. Right there. Which is cool, but other than that, he's just a straight up, uh, straight up repaint. There is something you do need to know about uh, these guys. I'm pretty sure all of him have an assembly error, uh, where there's a piece in the chest that put in backwards. And when I first got him, basically I couldn't see how the abs, are, the abs are all the way up, you know, by his crotch. Like that's how they're supposed to be. When I first got him, like I can only get it about that far. Maybe not even that far. Maybe it was more like that. And I was like, what the heck? But apparently there's a fix. So what you just got to do is... Uh, one... There's two screws up here by his shoulders and one right there in his back. Pop that all off. Pull, Separate him in half. And then there's a little uh, plastic piece on a spring. You pop that out, flip it around, put it, the spring back in, and push it back in. 
and that allows his chest to swing all the way forward. Uh, you can just Google uh, Bakhan, 23, Bakhan Hoist Fix, and uh, you should get a pictorial uh, you know, description on what to do. It's not that hard. It took about 10 minutes, and now he can transform properly. It's just an assembly error, but I think all of them have it. Just something you should know. There was also another ooh, excuse me, assembly error with the shoulders being assembled upside down. Mine are fine. So I'm not, the, uh, these bits were upside down. So they were swapped and upside down. But mine are okay and he can transform just fine. Which is good. But you can see he does have his same exact weapon. Uh, what I would probably do is stick this weapon on his back and uh, give him a sword since he is supposed to have a sword. But it is literally the exact same, the exact same sniper rifle. Uh, other than that, it is the exact same figure except for the head. The feet are the same, every, the upper body is the same, everything else, everything else is the same. Um, but I do really like the deco. I do really like the, the fine details. The metallic paint in the orange or whatever color you want to call this is very cool. It's a very nice little touch. And since I will probably never own a loose, if I do ever buy a G2 Electro, I'm sure I will buy it. You know, mint on card. Since <laughs> they don't exist loose, basically. But I mean, as you can see, he's very does he is very cool looking. I was gonna say he does very cool looking. I don't know, but he is very cool looking. So if you do like the uh, if you do like G2 figures or you do like the G2 look, and you want you know a modern representation, these are definitely definitely a cool way to go. Uh, I do hope we get more of these. I don't have the the box set, the G2 Redux. Redo whatever you want, however you want to pronounce it, but I will pick up you know the G2 figures that I like. But if you can find this guy loose, again he is more desirable than like say Mirage or Thundercracker. So he, I've seen him for about 70 bucks, a little bit expensive, but I mean I paid what 95 for the two of them, which is you know I would say go that route. They're still on sale, I think, at the club, at TransformersCollectorsClub.com. So <laughs> if you if you find them, grab them now before they go uh, before the scalpers get them. But yeah, this has been the video review for. I'll try to do the um, articulations all the same as uh, cup and swerve. So I'm not going to go into that. So yeah, this has been the video review for. BotCon 2013, G2 Autobot Electrons, aka G2 Electro.